Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to teach you all how to put um, a PlayStation Portable, also known as a PSP, on your cell phone. Um, regardless of what the specs are, or regardless how weak it is, or regardless of whether it's an iPhone or an Android, you know what I'm saying, you will still be able to do this. Um, you do not need a PC to do this. Now remember that, you don't need anything at all, just your cell phone. Right, so um, the first thing that I want you to do on your cell phone, if it's an Android, is go to um, settings, application settings, and make sure you have unknown sources enabled. And let me show you what this looks like. So I'm gonna um, right, I'm gonna click on a menu button. I'm going to go to settings right here. I'm going to go to applications, and you see that unknown sources is checked, right? So once you have that checked on your phone, um, the next thing I want you to do is um, go ahead and get on the browser on your phone and go to this website right here that one yeah um ppsspp.org okay now when you get on that website um it's gonna look like this here let me show you this will be the first thing that pops up is like the home screen explaining on like what what it is that this website is and what ppsspp is or whatever right it's um it's really a full speed emulator it works 100% like regardless of if your phone is weak and trash and you paid fifty dollars to get it at Walmart and it's really just a track phone doesn't fucking matter but yeah <laughs> fuck your phones nah but um the first thing it's gonna show you is this it's like PPSSPP or whatever let me zoom out for you that's the site or whatever you're gonna go over and click on the download section which is located next to home at the top now when you click on the downloads you go to um, it'll have a whole list of different ones that that it, you can download you can download the one for Android you can download it for your your iPhone you can download it for your Blackberry you can download it for your Windows computer you can download it for your Mac it doesn't matter you can download it for any one of them now you click on that and once it downloads a thing will pop up at the top of your notification bar telling you to that your download is complete or whatever you click on the download itself and it'll bring you to the APK installer. Now the APK installer will you just click install, that's it. It's nothing nothing to it, you know what I'm saying? Um but yeah. Then what you wanna do from there is download an app called A Downloader. See that right there? A downloader. We're gonna download that app on the Play Store. Now what this app will let you do is download anything you want, you know what I'm saying? Whether it will be like porn or whatever the fuck it is that you guys want to download, you know what I'm saying? It'll let you download anything from movies to games to porn to whatever the fuck you want, you know what I'm saying? Just type in on the search bar the name of the game you want. So let's say for instance, I wanted to download um, Persona 3 Portable, right? So I would type in P Persona 3 Portable or P3P and then after the name of that, you type ISO that's it nothing else space ISO right and then you go scroll to the whatever it is you want to download here let me show you give me one second I'm gonna go ahead and re-download a downloader because I don't I don't really use a downloader I have a computer and I use you know what I'm saying BitTorrent to download all my shit because a downloader is just really slow for a phone but um it's really slow to download probably take you about depending on your internet connection maybe an hour or two to download your your, your game or whatever but yeah i'm downloading um a downloader right now that's what it looks like i don't know if you guys can see that or not that's what it looks like all right so i'm going to open it and the first thing that's going to pop up it's going to bring you to a screen like this Come on, phone. Be slow on me now. It's gonna take a minute to open the first time you install it. You know, just I guess because it's unpacking all the files and shit and all that good stuff. Uh, but it's gonna bring up this thing that says it has a new you know um, UI on it or whatever. You just click on. 
do not show again. And then from there you will have this. You click on the little search button right there. Say I want to download. You can click the accept on the disclaimer. And then say I want to download Persona 3 4. Then I'll type ISO after that. See? Just like this. Persona 3 Portable ISO. I'm sorry if you guys can't see that. My camera, well, webcam is shitty quality or whatever. But, um, yeah. Click on that. Say it'll pop up with a whole list of different ones, or it'll pop up with one or two. You know? And you just click on that one. If, if your game does not pop up on there, you go to Settings and you go to Search Engine. And you click on a different search engine than what is already there. It starts off on Kick Ass Torrents. So, I mean, I myself would recommend you use the Pirate Bay or you use something like Monova, one of those. So, anyways, you download your game. Say my game is already downloaded, right? Okay. Now head over to the PPSSPP app. Right here. PPSSPP. That's the one right there. Right, so I click on that, and the first thing that will come up is this a nice little menu that looks like that. Right, so I'm gonna click on load, and then I'm gonna scroll to where my game is P3P ISO. See, this is Persona 3 Portable. Now it'll load right up. Watch, no problem. See that? Let's be those right up. Um, the buttons work and everything too, so it works 100%. See that? And this is a 100%, you know what I'm saying? Full speed game. Love um, always hates our downfall. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Put the game. You can put anything on here from Monster Hunters, Final Fantasy, all that. We puppies <coughs> only get drunk. I work my way at that game. Every time you see me, I'm in the Honda. Energy, no fun gimmick. It's a way of life. No way I ever take the strides. All we do is toss it up a week. See this works one hundred percent though. All day, all night, play the drinking game till I hit the floor. This is a full PSP game for free right here. You can get any game you want for free and it will load up and work correctly. See that this is working correctly or whatever. But yeah, you see this works 100%. It is, it is great, you know what I'm saying? I recommend you um, press the menu button, go to settings, and then enable frame skip, so that way maybe if your phone is that trash to where you can't run the PSP games on your phone, then you can go ahead and have frame skip on it. It'll make it so you know the process speeds up a little bit more, you get to play it and be more playable or whatever. But um, if you have any questions on this at all, then just comment. And make sure you subscribe and like my video to thank me for teaching you how to do this. And if you feel like commenting some rude shit, you know what I'm saying, just straight up utterly disrespectful shit like fuck you or some shit like that, don't fucking do it. Unless you think you can beat my ass. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Elite Ninja of NFG and here's some music of mine that you often listen to while you wait for your porn and games to download. Peace.
you better fucking subscribe to my fucking channel or else kill you!